Alright, so... Let's head over to this shore. It's a good thing there aren't any monsters out. Oh, thought I saw something. <laughs> hey, chest. Oh, isn't this? It's a treasure chest. Do you want to see what's inside? Okay, three, two, one. What's to Mary and Polly's dismay? The chest is as empty as can be. Because <gasps> we already looted it. Like twice. I'm surprised, like, the waters ain't too tall there. Alright, so. Uh, should we go towards the village or towards Ruan? Oh. Okay, there we go. So this is the very beginning. Alright. Alright, so are we checking chests? Oh no, we're... Okay. We gotta stay at the beach. Oh, no we don't. What about these, Mary? Wouldn't these make a good present? Hmm. Well, they're certainly pretty, but we got plenty of flowers growing in our garden as it is. I'd like to get the matron something a little more special and unusual. Alright. There we go. Ooh, a pretty pink one. It's cracked. What a shame. Aw, oh, I can't see any pretty ones around here. I'm a garbage. What kind of terrible person would throw a used cigarette on the beach? Adults can be so awful sometimes. I can't see any nice looking ones around here. How nice it'd be to bump into a happiness stone. This one feels kind of nice in the hand, but I'm not very fond of the color. Perform one a little lighter. You wanna help? Uh, it seemed like a good idea on paper, but I can't do much with uh, without a nice any nice shells to use. I wish those happiness stones actually did exist. One of those would be perfect present for the matron. What you thinking about, Mary? That stone? Oh, yeah. Polly, do you think it's possible that happiness stones might be real? Huh? Do you want one so you can be happy? Well, that wasn't really what I meant. Just... Don't you think it would be, uh, romantic if something like that really existed? Happiness is all around us. What's that? What? I don't know. It's really shiny, though. A gold chain. Oh, so that's what it was. Well, it certainly counts as romantic. But I'm not sure a chain alone is going to make uh, much of a present. We need a little more than that. You can have it if you want. You were the one who found it. Might not be fitting for a present, but it's still pretty. Take good care of it, okay? Okay. Oh, now what? Oh, hey, that's, uh... It's Lucia! Oh, Polly, Mary! 
Hey, hey, you kids, having fun playing on the beach? Yes, that's right. We were trying to find some nice shells, actually. Shells, huh? Well, take care, all right. I'm not going to tell you not to play here, but just keep your eyes peeled for monsters. We will. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any here today. You're going somewhere, Lucia? Well, I was. You know about the bazaars starting today in Minoria, right? We want to. Uh, we went to put up some posters for in Ruan. You just reminded me of it, in fact. I want to go. You should totally go then. It'll be really fun, trust me. Okay, let's get a move on. Hey, don't tug my arm like that. That was uh, Grant, right? From um, Kurt's team. Team of Racers. Analyze Kurt. Uh, oh, what was her name? Karna. Wasn't he one of the, those bracers who helped us before? I can't remember his name, though. There was Karna, Annalise, um, Kurt, then him. What was his name? Mary. Mary. Oh, sorry, Polly. What is it? I want to go to the bazaar. The bazaar? Oh, right. Sorry. Well, we might find something that works as a present there if we do. Okay, let's go see if we find something. Wait a sec. It's not safe to go running off on your own, Polly. Let's go together, okay? Okay. Doll. These children are adorable. All right, back to Minoria. Hello. Um, can I help you? Oh, I remember your name now. It's Black. It's Grant. Do me a favor and try remembering it next time. She knows, uh, sure knows how to work people to the bone. Do I really look, uh, like the kind of person who's suited to help out of the bazaar anyway? This was supposed to be Karna's job. Hope she doesn't think I'm going to forget this. Well, it sounds like fun. Oh, it is. You'll have loads of fun. I guarantee it. Where in town is it being held, Lucia? It's in the cabin attached to the windmill. Go and buy tons of stuff, okay? What kind of money do you think these kids have? Huh. Two vendors. la di da Wow, this is so cool. Yeah, there's so much available here. I wonder if there's anything that would make a good present for the matron. There has to be with all that's here. Oh, hey, Clem. <laughs> she gets so focused. A bazaar actually seems like the kind of place you might accidentally stumble upon magical items like the happiness stone. But I wouldn't even know where to start. Nothing I see looks like it anyway. There's something in particular you're looking for that I could help you with? Um, maybe it wouldn't won't hurt to ask. Sir, do you know how... Uh, happen to know where I can find a happiness stone? A what? It's a stone that makes people happy just for owning it. I, uh... Huh, 
Really couldn't tell you. Sorry, sweetie. N that's all right. Sorry for the trouble. Hmm. You know, I do remember hearing a funny story about the Crone Mountains one time that might be worth hearing. I've got no idea if it's true or a bunch of hooey, but uh, would you like to hear it? Y yes, please. It's an old story I heard from my dad a while back. Something about uh, them glowing gold all of a sudden once a year, around this time of year as it so happens. Apparently, if a traveler happens to be walking along uh, them at exactly that time, they undergo what I can only describe as a strange experience. And then they become happy. Nice, isn't it? <clears throat> you are fueling. You are only fueling the fire. What should we do, Polly? This actually sounds like it might be true after all. Maybe there really is something up in the mountains. Um, Mary? The Golden Glow, Tall Mountains, it all fits. Maybe there's really, there really is a happiness stone to be found there. She's not listening. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go take a quick peek up there, would it? Say, Polly, you know Clem and Daniel came to the bazaar earlier, Mary. They came to do some shopping and said they were going into the Crown Mountains. They said they're all ready, too. Seriously? I didn't even notice. Well, you were you are spacing out a lot lately. I can't believe uh, they're thinking of heading into the mountains. Matron Teresa also always tells people not to go any further than the orphanage, from the orphanage than Menoria. But you want to go into the mountains too. That's uh, I'm planning on doing it uh to get her a birthday present. That's very different, and it'll only be for a minute or two. Besides, we've got to go and bring those two home now. That's important enough on its own. Then we can just search for the present while we're there. We can't tell the ma matron about this, right? Absolutely not. She can't know about the birthday present, right? Let's go. Stick close to me, Polly. This is how kids end up dead. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, I guess we're heading out. Just avoid any monsters in sight. Say, Polly, what do you think those happiness of... Oh. Huh? Uh-oh. Wait, Polly? Uh-oh. Don't tell me that she's lost. Polly! Polly, where are you? Row, row, Raggy. Polly! Polly! Oh, I told her to stay close to me, too. Where could she have gone? Uh, she's hopeless. As are you. <laughs> what the? I saw her head this way.
And then over here. And to the Chrome Trail, all right. Polly, come on out. How are you going to explain this to the uh, matron? I can't find her anywhere. This is all my fault for being so careless. I shouldn't have taken my eyes off her. I never do this either. So why did I do it this time? Wait a second. Is this the right way? Which way did I come from again? It's a pretty straightforward passage. And she went backwards to go forwards. Where oh where have you gone? Huh? Where am I? I've never been this far from the orphanage before. It looks like Polly's not the only one who's lost. What am I doing? I need to be strong and look after the other children. I've got to find Polly. This is all my fault. It's all my fault. I never should have believed in that silly story. I should have never taken Polly so far from the orphanage. How could I have messed up this badly? Oh no. Oh, monster. <clears throat> I've got to find Polly. If a monster like that finds her before I do, I don't even want to think about it. Please be safe, Polly. Polly! Where are you, Polly? Answer me, please! She's just heading deeper and deeper into the Crone Trail. Polly, please, just come out. I know I messed up, so please, just come out. Oh no. I mustn't cry, I mustn't cry. Oh, it's getting foggy. Huh? Black. It's mad chilly this time of year, huh? What? Ah, uh, maybe I should go catch some more Z's. Who are you? Huh? <laughs> What's the big deal? Don't scare a dragon like that. I thought my heart was gonna go pumping right out of my chest. Huh? What's that? Sun on my face, little buddy? You're weird. Hey! This is way not cool to laugh that much. <laughs> Sorry, what are you doing here anyway? Who, me? I was just keeping my head low while all that scary stuff was going down. Scary stuff? Like what? Like the Glorious and the Oriole and Junk. Didn't you hear about them? I don't think so. Ah, the glorious, huh? 
Huh, okay, are you a baby dragon? Yuppers, I'm only uh, 320 years old. What, really? Why are you so surprised? That's to totally normal. It is? I'm not sure about that. Anyway, I'm bored. I want some grub. Do you know if there are any uh, dandelions that bloom around here? Is that what you eat? Sunflowers are yummy delicious too. They taste just like the sun. No lie. I didn't know that. Oh, I know. Ta-da! You can have one of my super special sandwiches. They haven't got any dandelions or sunflowers in them, but they uh, got some plants from our garden in them. So I'm sure they'll have a sunny taste to them. Okay, open mine now. <clears throat> so, what do you think? That was so good! I made it all myself, too. <laughs> Aren't I amazing? Wow, you're crazy amazing. Can I have another one? Another one? But I only got one left, and that was supposed to be mine. Give me half, then. Pretty please. Well, I suppose I could. Okay, you win. <clears throat> uh. Wow, she's completely forgotten about Polly. Oh, red light, green light. Yeah, she completely forgot. Polly could be in so much danger right now. Uh, it's sure getting chilly now. You think? You have trouble dealing with the cold? Nuh-uh. I do awesome with the cold, I swear. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I'll go gather some firewood, okay? It'll get a lot, lot warmer if we start a fire. Just wait here, okay? Uh, okay. Can you be fast, though, please? We're not even going to go look for Polly? Huh? I thought you were going to wait for me. But it's getting dark now. Being out in the dark alone is kind of scary. Oh. There, there. Feel any better now? <laughs> Stop that. You're tickling me. You're so soft and you smell so nice. Huh? This smells like... I can't remember. This smell is just somehow familiar. I'll help you look for firewood, too. That way we'll be... We'll both be warmer. That sounds great. I got a dragon. Oh, what? Alright, let's keep looking. Wait. My path's been completely cut. She's stuck here. <clears throat> Yet the game wants more firewood. Do you even know how to start a fire? Okay, this should do. Wait. 
We're going to need some fire to get this started, aren't we? Don't sweat it, I got it. Wow, you can really breathe fire? Anyone can do it if they practice enough. No, they can't. Uh-huh, they can. I only learned how to do it recently, too. Oh, really? I wonder if, I, uh, if I'd be able to do it if I practice enough. I'm sure you could if you practice for 320 years like me. I'm not even going to live that long. Uh, they're spending the night. The matron is now officially panicked. You're so soft. I sh I'm sure I know this scent from somewhere. But where? Then we find out the girl is actually part dragon. This is so warm. Uh-oh. <coughs> oh. Now where'd the dragon go? He's gone. I guess that's it. <clears throat> I guess I'll go home. Uh, I don't think you're going the right way. Definitely not going the right way. <coughs> oh. Oh. How deep is this canyon? <clears> Hi, <throat> right, welcome back. You kind of left me there to die, you know. You saved me. All right, one sec. You can fly? I'm still a kid, so yep, yep. You can only fly if you're little? Well, no, grown ups can too. It just causes uh, problems. That's not much of an answer. I think I kn might know what the problems he's talking about. Today sure was fun. What? Hey, are you okay? We come. Oh good, she woke up. You okay, Mary? Wait, when did she fall asleep? Huh? What happened to that weird monster? Monster? Were you a tar? No, but... 
There weren't, wasn't any monsters, just you. That's weird. Was that all a dream then? Mary! Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How can you be fine? I promised Chloe and Joshua that I'd protect everyone. I promised. If anything happened to you, I... Clem? Why do I all... Why do you always gotta try and do crazy things alone anyway? We were gonna look for the matron's birthday present together. Don't go off and start doing dangerous stuff all by yourself. I... He's right, Mary. We were real worried about you. We were looking for you together. Cause you went and disappeared on us. I'm sorry. And thanks. So wait, what happened? Like... Like at what point did all that become a dream? Cause we're... Not even on the crown pass anymore. What are you thanking us for? I wasn't worried or nothing. I just figured we could look for you while we were looking for a present. Um, you remember how Clem forgot to buy those decorations when he was in Mr. O'Neill's shop, right? That was why we went over to the bazaar to do a bunch of shopping there. So we could, uh, get what we needed for Matron's birthday. He said we had to go do it because it'd be a big pain in the butt for you. Shh, don't tell her everything. Anyway, then we headed over to the Crone Trail and... Ow, oh, you're hurting me, Clem. <laughs> I feel so happy for some reason. I feel like I just had a dream. Really, really nice dream. Mary? Are you okay? You aren't feeling sick or something, are you? Are you alright? Feeling dizzy or nauseous? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I was just spacing out a little. A lot's happened, you see. <laughs> okay then. Okay, troops. Let's start heading back. What? But we still haven't found a present yet. Maybe not, but you're... All downright exhausted from lo looking ar uh, around for one. The young lady here looks like she could do with some serious napping, too. I'm fine, honestly. Nope, not hearing it. I'll escort you all back home, so take it easy and get some rest. If any of you were to get sick from overexerting themselves, uh, the matron would really be upset, wouldn't she? You can always uh, keep searching for a present tomorrow. I'll give you a hand, okay? Wow, really? You're pretty cool for a guy who looks so boring. Ouch, just kick me while you're at it. Uh, why don't you? Huh? What's this? Wow, that looks... You don't think... Uh, that could be... Wow! It's a happiness stone! <coughs> yeah, it must be! Clem suddenly claimed that he had an idea as he took an old pendant out of his pocket. He grumbled uh, that it was only something he uh, stumbled upon at the bazaar. With everyone's encouragement... Oh, I thought this was just narrative. With everyone's encouragement, I decided to try and settle the happiness stone in the center in hopes uh, that I would fit. It fit perfectly, too. It was as if they were always meant to be together. Polly's golden chain turned out to be just the perfect length as well. Finally, we placed it in the small box that Daniel had kept with him. Wrapped it in wrapping paper, and the perfect necklace was born. Doll. Huh? This is the same smell that monster gave off. Is that because I gave her the happiness stone? Mary? 
I understand now. It's the warm smell of happiness. All right, we're done, and we got the honeymoon achievement. The happiness stone at 12,000 Mira. All right, so... Let's see. I've been going at this for about three and a half hours. All right. Uh, huh, okay, so now you try and find the next one. It's not this one, okay. <clears throat> wonder if it's here. I haven't checked the south side. Hello again. All right, south we go. Chest. The sapphire gem. I don't see your name on that item, so why are you taking it? All right, uh, let's see. Anything around? No. Oh, uh, wasn't this one either. Crap. My plan has been ruined. Couldn't have him go in a rotational order. Oh. Well. Alright, we're not going in there yet. Which means the next one's got to be over here. The ruby gem. Isn't this the part where you give me something in exchange? You know, like a decent human being? Alright, so now... The next one. And making sure there's none around here. The Lord of Phantasma does decree. Here lies the looking glass. Place your hand on this monument, the sword wielding dame among your members. The looking glass? That's got to be the name of our next uh, tourist attraction around here. Hmm, still, the sword wielding dame. We have a number of women uh, with us who fight using swords, myself included, so there are several potential candidates. But I think the most fitting uh, here is Annalise. Do we have a... Oh, well, I guess Chloe, um, uh, Julia, and uh, Annalise, yeah. Is anyone else? You think so too, huh? All right, let's head back to the garden and get her to come here with us then. So we need Annalise, huh? All right. Oh yeah. All right, 120. All right, Annalise. Hop on in. Sword wielding women. There's Reese. There's Chloe. There's Julia. There's Annalise. <clears throat> there's four. 
Uh, should I bring Tita? And Kevin explained to Annalise that they thought she was the person the Ambrose Monument inscribed was asking for. Me? The sword-wielding dame? I don't know, I mean, it's a cool-sounding title and all, but does it really fit me? It does if you ask me, but hey, even if you're not sure, it's worth a try, right? Do you mind coming with us and giving uh, it a go? You've got it. Off we go, then. Alright, we're back. <clears throat> Sword-wielding dame. Um... That's it. Oh, wow. We're back here? Oh! Oh, hey, I know this place. The Looking Glass. It's the Lakeside Laboratory. Yeah, the one that Ouroboros used as its base of operation in Liberal at one point. Can't say I'm excited to be back here. Something seems kind of odd about it. I get that same feeling. Well, let's go and get a closer look. Maybe we'll figure out what it is. Yeah, this is where she got brainwashed. Alright, do we have a monument to let us warp back here? What the? Is it mirrored? It looks mirrored. Wait a sec. Wasn't this door on the left side of the building last time we were here? You're right. Hmm, I wonder. Had a little clipping issue going on there. The whole thing's been mirrored. The Archaism uh, Parts Factory? But this was... Wait, then... Here to greet us already, huh? What? Talking's gonna have to wait. Let's roll. Alright, battle. Kill them. Who right, got a lot of water out of that? Whew. Those things sure weren't fun. I mean, you killed them in one hit. They had a kind of reflective armor. That was a nasty surprise. At least it's uh, now clear as day what's going on here. Yeah, the whole building's layout has been flipped around. Kind of like it was re uh, re reflected in a mirror or something. Well, whatever. It doesn't look like that's the only trick this place has up its sleeve. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Right. Oh, and we didn't keep any of the card keys. So this... So now we gotta do this place, but backwards. The Mume Jitetsu. You take my stuff, I take your stuff. You take my stuff, I burn you alive. I know you just are sentient.
yeah, no. I think I'm going to keep my stuff the way it is. So I gotta do this place backwards, huh? Poison 2. Be thankful this chest doesn't have teeth. Alright, where's that stupid monument? Can't go that way. Don't tell me I have to go a certain uh, distance to get the thing. The Gold Crest. It said, uh, it is said that ignorance is bliss. Tell me, is that true? Cased in jelly. When I said, give me some space, that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. I'm gonna ignore you for now. And hope that I can find a stupid monument so I can... A, warp, and B, just have a good place to end it off. There it is. Alright. Well, now that I've found this, this is going to be the place I end it off. So next time on Trails in the Sky the Third, we're going to be exploring uh, the Looking Glass or the secret Ouroboros uh, uh, research facility. I'll see you guys then.